What are microservices? Let's look at an online store. It has a product catalogue, a shopping cart so that I can buy stuff, an order screen to track the status of my order, a product search function, and a promo panel for the latest special offers. Traditional architecture builds these features into a single application, single database. Adding new features introduces tightly coupled dependencies, and that's okay, because the application is managed as a single package. In a microservices architecture, each feature is built in isolation and is independent of all the other features. An HTTP REST or message bus is used to allow these services to communicate to each other asynchronously. That may seem a lot more complex and a lot more work, so why would I want microservices? Traditional architecture creates large monolithic packages that can be challenging to deploy. Configuration can be hard to manage. Deployment is a drama, so we deploy seldom, maybe once every few weeks or months. Microservices are small and isolated and are packaged and deployed independent of each other. That makes configuration easier to manage, so we can deploy often. Deployment is routine, multiple times a day. There's another significant benefit for microservices. As your application becomes popular, it increases load on your compute and storage capacity. Traditional architecture usually scales out an application by ramping up more hardware. If the search feature load is up 10 times, then I ramp up 10 times the servers. In microservices, I only ramp up the instances of the services that need it, saving resources. 10 instances of the search feature are load balanced across multiple servers. There may be other benefits like increased resilience because each feature is designed in isolation to handle events when other services fail. Microservices may be more complex than traditional architecture and require stronger collaboration during development. Not everything may be suited to microservices and this video shows some simplified concepts. Hopefully, you found this video useful and are ready to ask some more questions. And I'll leave those for another video. Just remember the previous question. Why would I want microservices? Time to market used to be measured in months. Now it's measured in days. Business agility and time to market is critical.